Mambo e Mazimambo Itarake and the No kuchinga miza yuko msangano wedu we prayer networking conference. Tino kutenda iwa no tunga mira kurumbi zamari. Ino ingua yawa simuziwe mwenge. Chino ziva kuna matambu ziko akao mesesa ariku itika pasirino. We are seeing a lot of trouble all over. Chiriku ona matambu ziko akateke shera kwese kwese. Things are not well. Jinu ajina kumira shakanaka. And the cry is going out who is going to deliver us. Uye kuchema kuriku stimuka kutindia niko uchati ziki nura. People are crying out who is going to deliver us. Vanu wochema kutu uchati ruira ndiani. In this time where there is no certainty. Panguwa ino isinga zika angu kutira mangu wa naraka mira sei. So we are here. Sagatiripano. To realize. Kutituone. This is the year of raising torch bearers. Ino ndiro gore re kusimu zawa chapata mwenje. God wants you to be a torch bearer to give direction in this disordered world. Mariva no da kutu usimu zemwenje upe gwara munyika ya kaminama. You have to carry this light so that people can see it. Usimu zemwenje pa msoro kutiva no waone. They need direction. Wano da gwara. I'm sorry. not going according to push. Oh, we, we're just going to say next, okay? <laughs> uh, the definition of a torchbearer is somebody who carries a torch ahead of a group of people or family. To inspire other people to work towards uh, release and breakthrough. So this is why we are calling it the year of Raising torch bearers. They will carry this light and say, Follow me. And we believe God is raising some of those torch bearers are here now. 
Tinotenda kuti mwari vanhu vari kusimudza vamwe vacho vari pano. I believe that you are going to go out of this conference with an anointing of a torch bearer. Tinotenda uchabuda mumusangano uno une kuzodzwa kokuva musimudzi womwenje. Because people don't know what to do. Nokuti vanhu havazivi vapererwa. Next. Whoever is changing, they were supposed to be doing it here. <laughs> The greatest torch bearer we have ever had is our Lord Jesus Christ himself. Christo Jesu ishewe dundia wakawa musimu zomwenje mkuru. Who declares openly that I am the light of this world. Iye unoreva pache na kutindini chie za chenyika. Whoever follows me is not going to walk in darkness. Aninani unondi tevera azo fambi murima. Do you have Jesus as your personal savior? Unaye ere Jesu somponesu wako mbune. That he completely... He is the only one you can think about in this whole world. We need Jesus in our life. Next. Matthew 5, 14 to 16. Ma Jesus Christ turns around. Mateo 5, ndi maya 14, kushika pa 16, Jesu uno tende uka wataura. Otarisa kwa uri. He says, you are now going to be the light of this world. Oti iwe nduwa uchava chieza chenyika ino. You are going to be the one who is going to bear this light. Ndiwe uchasimu za chieza, ucha venekera. He says, a city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Oti guta rakawa kwa pachikoma, rigo ni kuvanzwa. No, do people light it? a lamp and put it under a basket but on a stand and it gives light to all the house. I don't know why you are hiding your light. Verse 16 he says in the same way let your light shine before others. So that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. May God help you, my friend. This is one of the saddest generation we have. We might be the most ineffective generation. Because other people saved their generation. The light was shining so powerfully. People used to come into, you know, to the Lord in hundreds. And hundreds. We are the light of this world. And if we have become so ineffective, and we are not bringing solution to the problems that are going on. In our homes, at our workplaces, we are the light. Did you know about the, the you know the apostles? He says, I've made you, he says, uh, Acts 18 47. For the Lord has commanded us, saying, I have made you a light for the Gentiles, Mabasa that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth. Listen, we have to bring freedom to other people. You have to come out of your own prison, first of all. You cannot help others when you are still in prison. Thank you for that small amen. 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 Brethren, amen. let's move out. Let's do something. Let's be deliverers. Next. In Acts 2 verse 3, they saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that they separated and came to rest on each of them. Verse 4. 
These torch bearers were baptized in the Holy Ghost. And they started spreading like wildfire. I was just ch uh, challenging somebody. And I challenged the people. Uh, some two Sundays ago. That why can't we go and spread the gospel? Why can't we aim that by the end of this year, you just bring three souls to the Lord? Just three souls. Three souls. Three souls. When last did you lead a soul to the Lord? These guys, wherever they went, they were effective. They spread the wildfire. Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19. He says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. He said, God is doing a new thing. It's going to spring up. You have to see it, perceive it. I am making a way in the wilderness. Let's believe God that he's going to do a new thing. Here is a man in Judges 11 verse 1 to 2. He says, Jephthah the Jiradite was a mighty warrior. His father was Jirad. His mother was a prostitute. Gilead's wife also bore him sons, and when they were grown up, they drove Jephthah away. You are not going to get any inheritance in our family, they said, because you are a son of another woman. That's the rejection. But there was trouble that took place. People started suffering. They went to him. In Judges chapter 11 verse 6 to 7. They, they said to him, him come. We want you to be our commander. Fight with us. Just as said to them, didn't you hate me and drive me from my father's house? Why do you come to me now when you are in trouble? Where are some people who have been rejected by society. They are going to look for you. When you begin to carry that torch. I said they are going to look for you. And they will come. And say we are in trouble. The story of the good Samaritan. In Luke chapter 10. You know the story. These people. They saw somebody in trouble. And they, they, they saw things. They saw the same person. But you see the torch bearers see beyond what the human eye can see. So we see that somebody came and looked, he bypassed and he went away. And somebody came and he saw, he went away. But somebody saw him. 
And he began to see things that were beyond the human eyes. And he became a torchbearer. He took him and he went and to, uh, to, uh, left him in an inn and said, paid everything. That person was a torchbearer. I have a story to tell you. My grandmother, the one I have put there, she was called Rumba. Rumba. So my father divorced my mother. And I was three months old. So my mother took me to this Karumba, this Kawuman. So my Rumba. She was left with a three month old baby. She had to look after me. And I want to thank God. That at three months, I found a torchbearer. Brethren, there are people there who need to take charge of other people. Up to now, I don't know. Because at three months, I, I needed some milk. So I don't know where she got the milk. I don't know how she fed me, whatever it is. But she was a torchbearer. I used to, uh, I, I used to stay with her up that, to. Maybe form one, form two, uh, we were still sleeping in the same room. She was my friend. Next. Next slide. Uh, that time I was about to uh, form something, but I was, she was still my friend. Next. <laughs> This grandmother of mine, she never wanted anybody to beat me. Why don't you beat me? Why are you beating me? But this cowboy is being naughty. She protected me. And you know, when we come back from school, uh, people will be running around. Then she will look and then she then she calls me. Sit here. Then I will sit. Then she looks around. Then she gets some food. She had kept somewhere. And gives me. Eat here. So I will eat. I enjoy myself. This woman was a torchbearer. I don't even know. And I wish she lived to see this boy that she kept from three, three months old to be where I am today. She had torchbearers. Now, I have many torchbearers. Now, I have many torchbearers. In my family. This is Daniel, our firstborn. This brother of us. When our mother was divorced. He was in standard four or standard five. Our mother had disappeared. So he got a job in the railways. Then he discovered our mother was in northern Rhodesia, in Ndola. He says, he collected all of us. This was the darkest moment for us. My two brothers were, and my sister were in the village. 
Mazikoma angu ni anjadzi angu vanga wari kumusha kuruzeva. Kuchiweshe. From here, I don't know. Some of you know how. Kunonzi kuchiweshe, munom. St. Albert. Eh, Kunonzi ku St. Albert. So my brother. Saka mkoma angu. Borrow the bicycle. Waka kwele ita basiko. Next slide. He borrowed this bicycle. He, he rode this bike. He went to Chuesh. He arrived at the village. And he said, I have come to take my brother, my brothers and my sister. He says, but where is the car? How are you going? He says, I've come with the bicycle. So he took these, my two brothers and my sister. And he said, you continue walking. He took my sister at the back, the other guy in front, and he rode this bicycle. Went and left them at the end. He says, continue walking. He had to ride back and take this one. He went and overtook these two and left him in front. Until he arrived in Harare. Sosbury. And then he put us in the train and says, you have to go and suffer with your mother. That's why I grew up in Zambia. As a torchbearer, you might have to forego your comfort zone. I said, you might have to forego your comfort zone. So I thank God. Every time the, my life has been in a in squeezed, God raises a torch. May you be a torch bearer. Esther was a torch bearer. She came to that time. When she says, if I perish, I perish. Esther was a torch bearer. Torch bearers are not selfish. They think about others. They think about their broad community. It is not about you. If you want to be a torchbearer, you have to remove your selfishness. My grandmother, she could have thought about me she could have thought about herself. She removed that. So here we have Esther. Stepped out of her comfort zone. She was willing to risk herself. If you are going to be a torch bearer. Some of you are already torch bearers. Continue. To be a torch bearer. Maybe to a wider group of people. Maybe to your, uh, to your relatives only, but God wants us to go beyond. God has raised torch bearers. Every time to reach out our prophetic destiny. I have had fights, the enemy fighting me. But God raises a, a torch bearer. Who comes at the right time. And says, don't worry, come with me. May God help you. In Africa, Mo Africa, God is raising torch bearers now. Mari, rising up and to be counted also. As torch bearers. 
God. This is a, a man from Cameroon. Uyu murume unobva ku Cameroon. I know some of you you who are in engineering you know about this man. Vamwe venyu vanoita zve engineering munogona kunge muchimuziva. He has he developed this system called navigator which is used in planes, trains, cars, security gates everywhere. Waka gadzira zvimwe zvinhu zvinoshandiswa mundege mudzimotokari nezvimwe zvakadaro. May God help you. Dai mwari vakubatsira. To be like Dibora. Kuita sa Dibora. 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 She became a woman who was a torchbearer. Waka wa mudzimai wangaka simudzamwenje. She rose to the occasion. Waka simuka panguva yaidiwa. And she saved Israel. Akaponesa Israel. Who is going to step out in our lives now. Dia niko acha simuka muupenyu. And fight for us. Oti ruhira avo. We need to rise up. Take ownership and responsibility. You are going to step in. May God help us. As I rose to be a torch bearer also, when I got saved, I became a torch bearer to my family. I was the last born. You know, and uh, not something to write home about. And uh, I remember, because I was very sickly, you know. Yeah, that's what they used to call me, Kandonda, which means uh, good for nothing. I used to be very, I, you know, I, I, I spent most of my childhood in hospital. I had uh, tap worms. They would come out through my mouth. And, 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 and I was thin. Spent a lot of time in hospital. Now, my mother could not come to the hospital to see me when other children are getting visitors. Because she worked as a nun, she had to look after this white man's children. So I could see other children, their mothers, their relatives come and hold them and play with them, you know. Uh, me, I'm just crying in that cot. I'm looking for my mother. She's not there. And I thought, uh, some, my brothers would come, you know, one day they came. And uh, after spending time, they didn't even come with a Coke or some drink. You know how you would <laughs> They just left me there and turned around and said some words that I've never forgotten. Why, why is he not dying? And kare kare gerei kai kona why why is it no he why is it not die? Uh -huh, waka. <laughs> eh, why does he just die? Die chango fa. I kafa. I tell you, and they went away. Doko baba forati ra kwa kwenye. Those brothers were not touch bearers. Matiko maangua ya. Why to our We wish me to die. Why in the shuvi la rufu? But God. Is going to raise the torch bearer. God is going to change your story. Your story is about to change. You are going to become the torch bearer. I need a strong amen here. Amen. Amen. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. This man, he, lived, he read the civil rights movement. 
When America was dark. America And it was dark. And he rose up. And he started telling people. I have a dream. I have a dream. He says, one day the sons of former slave owners. And the sons of the slaves. They will sit down on the table of brotherhood and say free at last. He, he lifted up that banner. The people who heard him speak that time. You needed faith. He was a torchbearer. He was a torchbearer. And we saw where, what happened to America. Today, the things that Martin Luther said have come to pass. Isaiah 9, to the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Isaiah 9, to those who dwell in the land of the shadow of death upon them a light has shone. May God help you. We need characters of torchbearers. You might be a torchbearer for one person. Like my grandmother. It was only me. She just concentrated on me. God help us. Acts 13, 36. David, Papa. after he had saved the purpose of God in his own generation, fell asleep and was laid in his father's and saw corruption. David. This man was hungry for God. He, God. he became a torch torchbearer of God. He had some weaknesses. But he was a torchbearer. Next. This is a friend of mine. Most of you know him, Brian Audrey. He started the founder of Foundations for Farming. And he became a torchbearer. When he started, people didn't believe him. And this year, is it this year, Fungfuza, we, we had uh, one of the biggest harvests. Saka. Foundations for farming. The foundations for farming. He became a torchbearer. He told people, listen, follow me. As I follow Christ. This is the new method. That God has wanted us to do. And today, God is raising torchbearers everywhere. Our own queen. Queen she seated here. She was telling me I have to go back early. Because on Monday, is it Monday or Tuesday? I will be teaching foundations for farming to my people. She is, she is a torchbearer. To go back to her village. And tell her people. This is what we need to do. Torchbearers. Because peak performance comes. That's what happened. You know, people started harvesting more. If you are 
a torch bearer, you need to achieve the peak performance. You can't just lead and inspire others when you are underperforming. I want you to challenge yourself. Strive this year. Do something to bring your performance to another level. Can somebody say amen? Amen. What is big performance? It's reaching the highest level of something. Peak performance is performing at your best. Are you sure this is your best? You can't learn more. No, I believe you can go more. I said, I believe you can do better. The question rises. Mufunzo uno simuka. How much better could you be doing in your business or career? Uno gona kushika pachiero chipigo mbizimisi rako kana mbasarako. How about your relationship with somebody you love? Kana kutimukushamari zana kwa kumu kama wako newa unoda. Teresa is waiting for peak performance from her husband. Saka, Teresa aka mirira kuhunyanji kufaku murume wake. And she loves it. And when I tell her we are going to America together, she says, all right, yeah. And the Kamuza, what did you go in the America? Yes. Now she, she just wants me to be on peak performance. Saka, I guess, you know, I don't need because I love her, I have to go with her everywhere. No, good in the no mood, and often out in the end, and I quest a quest. God wants you to go for peak performance. Can somebody say amen? Amen. So ask Teresa whether you know the husband is doing peak performance, you know. Uh, but I, I have to try. Some of you you don't travel with your wives. You don't do anything together. It's only you. Ndiwe cheti. Ah, God forbid. Ah, ajite. Hebrews 5, verse 12. Vaya, Beru 5, ndi maya 12. It says, by this time, ino, di panguwa ino, you ought to be teachers. Munga dai mama wa zizisi. By this time, panguwa ino, you are still doing the same things. Uchiri kuita zingwe chetezo. You should be doing better. Unofani la kunge wawa kita zirinani. You should be performing at another level. Unofani la kunge wawa kubata nejiro jepa msoro. There has been a delay in your development. Paita kunonoka kukweru wa kumashure pa kukura kwako. God help you. Dayu mare wa kubatsira. This is the year of peak performance. Rino ndiro gore ro kuita zinune unyanji. Some of you don't believe in yourself. It is a mindset. We are going to pray that God is going to deliver us through the way we look down upon ourselves. <laughs> Lifting up that torch for a long time can be tiring. Some of you were torch bearers, but you are getting tired. May you strengthen those weak hands. May you get more stronger. Let's not grow well in, well, in, do, in, in doing good. Because in due season, please strengthen yourself. I pray that this conference is going to strengthen you. Let's strengthen one another. When the hands grew tired, Moses had to be held up 
with both hands by his friends. Mawoko ake akati arembera mozisi wa ito da ama zake kutizi musimu uze arambe akasimu za mawoko. We need support from one another. Saka tinoda kusimbi sana umwe no mumwe. I believe that some of you are going to be encouraged when you are here. Ndino tenda kutiva mwe venyu mocha simbi iskwa muripano. God has come to encourage you. Mwari, wau ya kutiva kusimbi ise, wau kusimu zile. And then you come out of here and say, I can do all things through Christ Jesus. Ucha zo simu kaku vapano oti ndino go na kuita jinu jese, na Christo jese onondi simbi isa. Peak performance. Do ita nepa msoro. Did you hear me? Andin zwaere. Peak performance. Kuita ne unyanchi. You haven't seen anything like that. Amusati maona shakadaro. Skip this one, next one please. To achieve peak performance, you need to focus. You need to pay attention. And bring that peak performance. Just say peak performance to yourself. Technology is advancing. We are seeing cell phones just encourage me. me I don't even know my last cell phone I don't even know whether I knew all the functions kana na mafoni munotoona kuti ari kuramba chingoenderera mberi yandai vana yo handizi kuti ndai ziva here zvese zvainogona kuita but that thing is attracted as attracted so many people asi chinhu ichocho chakatotora fungwa dzavano vakawanda chaizvo next one next one Nowadays, there are so many social media platforms. Yes. All these things show you we are expanding. We are moving. Look at this. How many people spend time on social media? The young people especially. Five hours, 49 minutes. This is coming from, you know, what they have discovered. Where are you? Which group are you in? 55 years plus, my God. <laughs> you spend so much social media and you don't read the Bible. And say some people check their phones within first 10 minutes. 71% check their phone every you know, 10 minutes walking up. Some of you check your phone first thing in, in the morning before you pray. How many of us is true to that? Thank you, Thank you for being honest. <laughs> Peak performance, focus on one thing at a time. Focus on your project, make it successful, then mute. A move to build the next project. Vanu, vanoita zo unyanzi, vano tarisisa pachunu chimwechete panguwa imwechete. Wo budirira pachiri, chok budirira, wo so indirira pane chimwechino chevera. Don't try to be good at everything. Usae zaku ita nyanzi, yesunu jese panguwa imwechete. May God help us. Tai mwari wati batsira. Okay, the job 31 verse 1, I like it because... Job 31, di maya 1. I, uh, that's what I do now. I said, Lord, I'm making a covenant with my eyes. Because sometimes when you see these women, the way they dress, it's, it's better to look up. Sisters, please, please. Uh, you just have to mock like mm -hmm. what's going on I don't know we need to discipline ourselves you discipline your body you know then you find out you are going to achieve something it's all about 
This girl was a famous South African female. She broke the world record in the women's 5,000 meters. Two time world class country champions. This girl used to run barefoot. Some of you, you know now that I go for running barefoot myself as well. Try it. I, I go for walks barefoot. Because, you know, uh, your feet is massaged. She refused, she, she refused to run with those shoes. The sponsors came. We are going to pay you for wearing our shoes. Adidas. Adidas. They gave her money. She says, no, please, I am not used to this. Like David said to Saul, I cannot go with this. For I am not tested before. So don't go and use something which you have not tested. Hey, me, I am become radical now. My friends know it now. Hey, I've become radical. I don't, I don't like labels. Some of these names, the labels, everything. I says, ah, 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 ah. Me, when I buy, I take off that label. Ask my wife, one day I just sat down all the suits, I removed the labels. Because people think it is the label that is making me what I am. And some of those guys who you are wearing those labels, evil. they are evil. And you go and display them. Pericadine. Who is Pericadine? Pericadine. Anyway, let me go on. Somebody say peak performance. Now, can you press to pray that uh, you guys who are there? Yes. This is a dog that is driving a car. And and most they... dogs love to go on walks. Some enjoy a good swim, but these dogs prefer to go for a drive. Meet Porter and Monty, who successfully passed their driving test on live TV and are the world's first driving dogs. Porter became the first dog in the world to drive a car. He drove on a New Zealand racetrack in a specially modified Mini. Porter was able to drive the car and even turn corners around the track after just eight weeks of training. Mm. This is a dog. If a dog can go to that peak performance, <laughs> What about you? I mean, I was surprised. What is your excuse? Eh? A dog driving. Very soon you will be stopping a, 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 a taxi and you find out manje, oh, manje, it's a dog manje, Motor 
May God help you that you will challenge yourself during this time. You have to do something. From here, I want you to go and challenge yourself. Go and improve yourself. Do something that you had never done before. May God help you. You have to come to that level. You will see challenges everywhere. Learn to develop yourself. Athletes, they achieve. Next one, please. I want to finish off now. Michael Jordan is one of the greatest basketball players. Michael Jordan, I have missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. He says, I have failed over and over and over again in my life. And he says, that's why I succeed. May God help you to succeed. Be strong and courageous in the Lord. God is going to go with you. Don't be afraid to do anything new. God is saying I'm doing a new thing. From here. God is going to do a new thing in your life. Next slide, please. This is a man, 90 year old. He has set up a record. He graduated with a master's degree at 90 years, 98 years old. Waka peza degree master's. Now he wants to write a novel. Please stretch yourself. When last did you stretch yourself? Next. Uh, this is me. Uh, I ate black rice for the first time. Now I tell people to eat black rice. This is what I eat when I come when you come home, Pastor Guts eats black rice. But my wife is not yet there. She's <laughs> she still likes white white rice. Mount Kilimanjaro. Hmm, Abad. This woman has climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. At 89 year old. A grandmother. You, you can't even climb that hill behind your house. We are going to pray. That you are going to perform. This young boy. At old. He graduates in university. So many young people now. They are doing some things. Young people are becoming torchbearers. We are going to pray that you will stretch yourself to be a torchbearer in your village. Can somebody say amen? Amen. amen. Torchbearers 2023. There is a lady here in our midst. We went to visit her. And uh, when we got there, and uh, she was in the garden, and working out. So we got there. 
Where you? Then I was in the garden doing my things. Then we went in our house. The house was immaculately clean. And my wife said to her, uh, Your sink is clean. And she said, I never leave plates to sleep overnight in the sink. I wash my plates. Finishing eating, I wash them. I said, ah. Then she took us in her bedroom everywhere. She took us in. We saw files. Well filed. All her eight children or more children, each one has got a file. Children, everything, whatever, whatever you did, she has got a file for all her children. I said, ah. Ah. Sure. Is this true? In fact, I told my wife, if only God can permit me, I will take women to go and see this woman. Her, her, bedroom, her bedroom was like one of these magazines where you see, you know, nice decoration. You can take, you can take photos anytime. So I learned something which I am doing now. Since I visited her, I do not every plate that I eat, I go and wash it and put it aside. For you, it might be nothing, but for me, it's big performance. Ask Teresa. Everything, whether it's breakfast, now, my prayer is that if everyone in my house can do some big performance, so I become a torch bearer. One of these days, somebody is going to follow me. How many of us want to be touch bearers? Please stand to your feet. And I want you to pray for yourself. And say, God, we are here to be torch bearers. I am going to do something that has never been achieved before. I don't know what you are going to get from this conference. But I believe by the time you go to your home, you will be a peak performer. Now, this is interesting. How do we explain? Eh? This is queen of ours, Queen Regina. Queen. Our Maya, Maya. She just told me. I graduated. I said, ah. She can I graduated. Graduated, yes. She can say, So I said, let me come for your graduation. How many queens? Oh, chiefs are going to university graduating this time. Ah, this is a torchbearer. If your chiefs, if your chiefs begin to be like this woman here, we'll get our nation somewhere. Please pray for yourself. Just pray for yourself that I have come, Lord. This is my season of being a torchbearer. I'm going for peak performance in the name of Jesus. We have come this way. Lord, we are crying out that help me to be a torchbearer. 
Help me, Father, to be a torchbearer. In the name of Jesus, may you raise us as torchbearers, O oh God, in our family, in our nation, in this world. It's waiting for torchbearers. I thank you, Lord, for your anointing that is going to come upon each one of us. This is the year of raising torchbearers. Somebody is saying, I want to be a torchbearer. Somebody is pushing to be a torchbearer. May you move as a torchbearer. Come on, fight for your, your position. Rise to the occasion. Pray to God. I want to be a torchbearer. In the name of Jesus. Lord, help us. Yes, Lord. To be torchbearers. In the name of Jesus. 2023. Torchbearers. We release Labasho Pragadush. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I pray that the Holy Spirit will rest upon you. And will challenge you to become a torchbearer. Will challenge you to move to your peak performance. And we will hear testimonies of torchbearers as we set you free in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray yes, Lord. that Africa Yes, Lord. Is raising torchbearers. In the name of Jesus. And I pray right now. Yes, Lord. That anointing. Thank you, Father. To rest upon us. In Jesus. During this conference. Thank you, Lord. Give the Lord a big clap offering. Welcome. To Look. prayer networking 2023. <laughs> Gora 2023. Please enjoy what God is going to deposit in you through our speakers who have come. God bless you.